Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam and Otto from Indy Farm Life. So guess what happened? Two days in and I've already broken that blower. There's not a lot that can go wrong, but it won't turn, so I think that's a problem. What do you think, Otto? Good. I wanna say something. Remember yesterday we um, worked on my tractor to put real lights on it, yeah? Yeah, we'll put that video at the end so they can watch that one. And there's a lot of John Deere, and we love John Deere. Daddy had a song, and it was John Deere Green. <laughs> and goodbye, channel. And Daddy's going to talk of the rest. Chip off the old block, eh? So let me show you guys what's going on here. Like I said, it currently does not turn. Okay, so like I said, there's not much to this. It's just a series of pulleys to get the RPMs up on that turbine. And so the issue is with this main drive pulley. It has actually slid back. As you can see there, the belt jumped off of one of the grooves. I think the whole wheel itself, the whole pulley itself, has somehow slid back. And so you can kind of see here this where it was worn originally maybe. That's my theory, but it's it's not going anywhere right now, guys. It's pretty well seized up, so may even have to consult the manual on this one, which is not something I typically like to do, but let's see if we can't figure this out. See, what, are, what are your thoughts? See, it is stinky. You think it stinks? Yeah. It stinks that it doesn't work, that's for sure. So I've tried giving this thing the old one-two heave-ho, just pulling on the PTO shaft and Alexa, turning that wheel. Hey. I'm trying to make it. A song going, you're not making it go. Just a second, let me talk to the camera first. Okay, I will try after this. Okay, pulling on the drive line just to get that pulley come back. Nah, it's not happening. That thing is not turning right now. Uh, did a little research. This pillow block here, there's two bolts for it, and then an adjustment screw, and there's one on the back side as well, buried in grease and leaves down there. I think I need to loosen those to be able to pull that wheel back forward and remove some tension on that belt. I think that's all I need to do. I was able to reach that first pillow block, an adjustment screw right here in the front with the housing still on, but there's not a chance of reaching that back one there. So I pulled it off. It simply comes off with four little bolts. There's two on each side, it just lifts off. And uh, now I can get back to this <clears throat> back pillow block here. I think once I loosen that one up, this thing should start spinning freely. It's full on maintenance mode around here today too now. Got the old John Deere up on the lift. What are you doing to this thing? Um, I'm working on it, but it doesn't want to. And I'm working on the wheels and it will, and it will go really fast after I work with it. Putting a turbo on it? Yep. Sweet. All right, I'll loosen that back pillow block and then update you guys. Can't let this keep recording the whole time because we've been playing in Kanto out here. Copyright. Okay, so here's where we are. A 30 minute job, or what I thought to be a 30 minute job, is turning out to take multiple hours. So I had loosened this pillow block, the one in front and there. I was able to get tension off the belts, but I still could not get this thing to slide forward through the pillow blocks at all. Uh, I tried taking off the PTO shaft, which I removed the set screw. It's probably been on there for 20 years, will not come off. So what I resorted to is I'm going to remove this entire pulley assembly. Take off the front pillow block, I got the bolts out, I don't think you can see or not. And then the back one, uh, which will allow me, you can see now it's pretty well free floating. Uh, but I get that out of there, I'll get the... PTO chef off there, clean everything up. Um, the manual, actually I did brief it for about 10 minutes. First thing it says is do not over grease. Previous owner, loved him some grease. It's everywhere and it's thick. And I can got a, and I have a pair of gloves that are going in the trash when we're done. All the grease. And that thing is not light. But at least it's out. Those pillow blocks are just so muddied up. Need to kind of clean them up. I think they'll be fine. This is the gift that keeps on giving. So here's where I'm at. I could never get that PTO shaft off. 
I pulled the set screw, pulled on it, wiped all the grease on it. I almost hooked one into the tractor, one into the truck and ripped it apart, but then I thought, you know what? What's it matter? It can stay, it doesn't harm anything. The problem is I need to get these pillow block bearings moved on the shaft. Uh, I was able to cut through all the grease and find the two set screws, got those pulled. I can tap on with a hammer and they will move, but it's hard with the angles to get them to really move. They're still not fully loose. So my plan is to actually put this back on the blower, pin these down, and then tap on the back of this. Now I think it'll be loose enough that they'll actually go through. So we're gonna give that a go. And probably also clean up some of this in the meantime. Nastiness. Sorry this isn't live, but it's not fast either. Not done yet, but I think I'm at that point where I can maybe crack a beer and celebrate a little bit. So, got the wheel back in here without issue. I was able to put the screws temporarily into this back uh, pillow block and in the front, and then just lightly, ever so lightly, tap this shaft and let it slide through the uh, pillow block there. Something I couldn't do previously, and you can see here the two set screws. I still need to put those in, so I'll probably pull this belt and tighten those up here in a minute. Uh, moral of the story is don't over grease your machine. I cleaned up a lot of this, and there's still just massive amounts of grease. That there was no way I was ever going to even find those set screws, let alone get them out without taking apart the whole thing. Uh, but man, it's smooth now. I'll tell you what's crazy pulleys and gear ratios are wild. So to think that this spins at 540, and you can see just how fast by the time you go through these different gear ratios, how fast that turbine back there spins. All right, I'll stop yapping, button this up, and get this together, because tomorrow's a big leaf cleanup day, and I need this. I'm not walking with a backpack all day. Okay, well, aside from the housing being back on, it's fixed. Look now at the spacing between these two pulleys. It's gotta be inch and a half. As before, they were on top of one another. Uh, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time off camera, as I have done this whole video, degreasing this thing a little bit more. I didn't know it was actually red down here. I just started there on that turbine. You can see where I've done and where I haven't. It's pretty crazy the amount of grease and grime that was on this thing. And you know, a piece of equipment like this, it makes a whole lot more sense for there to be warning labels about not over greasing because it's gonna get thrown everywhere. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll get you guys a shot of this thing all cleaned up tomorrow and on the tractor and run it for a little bit for you. Just briefly, because you've seen it in another video. And if you haven't, go check it out. There's a video that, out there of this thing moving some serious leaves. All right, so there she is, all hooked up, cleaned up, ready to do some work. See if I can show you guys the turbine. I had it shining up pretty good last night. If you look back at the beginning of that video, I do want to do a quick test for you guys just to show you how much airflow this thing has. Let's start I'm gonna crank her up. I'm gonna turn it on and throw my hat into the column of air and see how high it goes. I'll do it at idle and then at 540. A little fun experiment. Wired. Dry leaves.
gotta say, that thing is an absolute monster. Totally worth the investment. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it wasn't as action-packed as some of the other ones I have, but sometimes things break. So if you would, hit that subscribe button, come back and see me sometime, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.